Back with Sharks Bob doing a Heritage 1, 4, or 5. 1, 4, or 5. Number 5. I can't remember uh, Sharks if we pulled a, um autograph from this case. I know in the first case we did. Then again, a guy came in and took a couple of these with him, so... I don't know. Got a 1966 card. Do they put mantles in these, I wonder? Tito Francona. Isn't that is that Terry? It's his son, his dad. Oh, his dad. That's Terry's dad. I don't know if Terry's nickname was Tito. It is. <laughs> Just base. They actually call him Tito also. They do what? They call him Tito also. Oh, okay. It's like Italian for Terry. Just base. some short prints in here. Here's a Nelson Cruz. That one's numbered to 999. A lot of times some of these cards will be short printed. Even though they look like standard base cards. I'd like to find an autograph though. Unmanned craft orbits moon. That was shot in Sony Theaters. Good 1961. Good autograph, yeah. you got a moon autograph. Just base. We check for bubblegum stains after the break, uh, Bob. Did you hear that? Doing bubblegum stain short prints. Mm -hmm. huh? You heard about that? Mm -hmm. huh. Usually one per box. I don't think it's on average one per box, but usually one per box. There's a bubblegum stain on the back. It smells like bubblegum. Um, and it's a short print. Base. What's that? Is it one memorabilia or, or autograph? Or autograph, yeah. One relic or autograph. Flashback. Although we haven't hit either one yet. Well. Something in here. There it is. Araldus Chapman Clubhouse Collection Jersey. And base, okay. 
We'll recap it. We have a Roldis Chapman jersey and Tito Francona. As your uh, buyback. Now we'll see if we get any bubblegum stains. Like I say, there's usually one. But not all boxes have one, so. There it is. Clay Buckholtz is your bubblegum stain. Smells like bubblegum. There you go. All right. That's it. Sharks Bob. You got another bubblegum stain. Clay Buckholtz. I appreciate it, bud. See ya.